good lending site uh, depends on two aspects. The first one is the engineering aspect. Um, is it safe or not to lend there? Uh, so you have to take care of the elevation of the lending site, the topography, you don't have to lend close to very high hills, for example. And the second aspect is um, objectives uh, of the mission in terms of science. If you land on Gale, you will see a cold desert. The uh, current temperatures in Gale are ranging between minus 70 degrees at night and uh, up to 3 or 4 degrees during the day. It's very dry, very arid, no water at all. And you'll see some uh, rocky landscapes with sand dunes. It's a bit like in the Sahara Desert or in the that southwest USA. Gale is very interesting because it's very unique in terms of geologic diversity. There are many different landforms, such as channels, which correspond to former riverbeds. There is a huge mound of layer deposits, which is called uh, Mount Sharp, so it's like uh, 5,000 meters high. And uh, some sulfates and clays are contained in these deposits. In the case of Curiosity, they wanted to find a habitable environment or to evaluate the possibility of habitability. So for this, you're looking for areas where liquid water may have been present. And in that case, you're going to, to try to find areas where you have hydrogen minerals, for example, like sulfate, clays, uh, where there are some sedimentary deposits, which may have been deposited in a lake, for example, whole hints um, telling you that liquid water may have been present there in the past. Curiosity is very unique compared to his predecessors because it provides many information about the composition of the rocks and the minerals you can find there. And it's very important to understand the formation process of these rocks. Also, uh, Curiosity has a drill. And so with this drill, you can have an access to the very fresh samples. And this is just fundamental for geologists because you are sure to have the original composition of the rocks. We did um, a study of Gale Crater using orbital data and we proposed that a lake may have been present in the deepest portion of the crater. In the coming months, I'm really looking forward to see uh, Mount Sharp and to go closer to this to see if we can see some shorelines, for example, so which is the boundary between the coast and a possible lake. And like this, it would be really a good argument for, for this lake. So if I have to pick up the next landing site, I will choose without any hesitation Valles Marineris. Because I, I studied this region for so many years now that I would be very glad to, to get some rubber data about this area.